In today's video, we take a look at Take no Ko, which might just be one of the cutest games we've come across in a while. Let's learn how to play here today on Legendary Tactics. So we're going to walk through the tutorial of this uh, yeah, neat little game. Uh, I haven't played it a, a whole ton yet, but uh, I don't know. It's got a kind of an interesting uh, twist uh, to it uh, and some cute characters. And I kind of appreciate what it's trying to uh, to do. Um, there's a little bit of a comic book that introduces the uh, the story here, but we'll just skip through that. And this game is for two to four players. And essentially, you're given... Uh, a list of, of objective uh, cards with objectives on them and you complete those objectives to earn victory points and obviously the one with uh, the most points at the end of the game wins. So at the start of the game you get three objectives um, to begin and there's some different actions that you can take as well. So we'll start with the actions. The first is placing a plot. You can see this very colorful map uh, here. This, uh, this one garden here is, uh, is the pond here which is central and um, in order to you can see the bamboo growing on these areas so the their irrigation is a is an important component of this uh, of this game um, and that you you can see these channels here that uh, run water along so the bamboo can grow but uh, but other than that a lot of the tiles uh, look as more aesthetic than anything so let's just pick a tile um, and they happen to be three green ones it can be uh, yellow or red and uh, so we're going to place a plot. So you click on the plot. Now it's picked this spot for us, but if you uh, play adjacent to the special uh, pond plot, which I mentioned earlier, the kind of the central irrigation, or adjacent to at least two plots already in play, uh, then that essentially increases the playing area of the game. And they can grow bamboo in their own color once they have been irrigated. And uh, as you can see here, we'll take some irrigation and we'll place it here to uh, to irrigate it. And you you need the um, the channel uh, so that it will be lined up on one of the sides of the uh, of the hex in question. Now um, we have been dealt uh, three objective cards, as you can see. And there's one wiggling there. There's actually three types of objectives. There's one which is creating a shape uh, among the tiles on the board. Another one where you have to build a certain configuration of bamboo. And another one where the panda has to eat uh, certain colors of, uh, of bamboo. So uh, we're going to click on this one. And uh, so this is the, the plot objectives. And typically they're gonna be three or four plots. Um, they all must be irrigated. So that's an important thing to remember. You may have the shape, but it's not irrigated properly. So that's something to think about. And as soon as it appears, uh, and you can see it there, the three green tiles, you uh, click on it and we will um, take the objective. And essentially the game finishes once a certain number of objectives have been completed by the players. When an objective is filled, you earn the number of points that are written on the cards. You can see this uh, bamboo stack here is worth five. And uh, this bam uh, having the panda eat a, a yellow bamboo, that one's worth four. Um, so once we've done both actions, where you get two actions per turn, um, we just uh, finish the turn. Now we're going to zip through this because this is the, uh, uh, the tutorial. So it's going to show, okay, well, now let's use the gardener. Now the gardener can move anywhere in a straight line and can cross as many tiles as the gardener wants. Now, given the current position and size of the board, that's not a big deal. So we're just gonna hop over here. And when the gardener arrives, a bamboo section grows on the plot where the gardener ends uh, his move and also on all adjacent irrigated plots of the same color. So uh, in this case, there are no reds adjacent, so nothing happens. but uh, moving the gardener there did allow me to complete this objective. So this is a, um, a group of bamboo, in this case just one, but it can show multiple groups of bamboo with a certain number of sections. As soon as that pattern is uh, available on the board, then you can cash it in for points. So let's do that. Now we'll try the panda. This is the kind of the, the, the cutest one of them. Now, um, the panda again can only can move in a straight line and as many tiles as that panda wishes. And when the panda arrives, the panda eats one section of bamboo on the plot that uh, where the panda landed. 
And as it happened, since we moved the panda to a, a place with some yellow bamboo, the yellow bamboo gets consumed. And uh, so it went into our reserve. And so we trade that in from our reserve to cash in the uh, uh, to cash in the card. Now we have no more objectives as it happens. So there's an action which is draw a, an objective from the pile. And there's those three types, as I kind of uh, mentioned earlier. There's the the uh, uh, objective where the panda must eat a certain type of bamboo or a certain combination, um, that you have a certain configuration on the board, and that you have grown a bamboo or configuration of bamboo um, to a certain height, say. So um, we're going to uh, uh, choose this uh, the panda one. Um, you know, again, just from a strategic perspective, there's the three types of uh, bamboo are already on the board. So uh, we can presumably fulfill this objective pretty quickly. Now, um, we can only hold up to five ob objective cards. So um, so now we need to eat two yellow sections of bamboo for four victory points. And it's interesting because there's no uh, yellow. We only have the one yellow section. So one of the things we can do is we can move the gardener there. And the gardener can, uh, oh, actually, sorry, we can't move the gardener there because the gardener has to move in a straight line. So we will move the gardener here, though. And uh, because that uh, square is irrigated, then a yellow uh, um, bamboo pops up. Now, at the uh, start of each turn, a weather die is rolled. And then this just adds a bit of variety into the game. So an effect is, is applied based on what you rolled. A storm puts the panda back on a plot of your choice, which can be very handy. Clouds, where you choose an improvement from those available. I'll touch on that in a second. And the sun, you get one extra action that has to be different from the other two regular actions. Uh, if you get rain, uh, that adds one section of bamboo on an irrigated plot of your choice. Again, can be very handy to help you complete an, an objective. And wind, you can repeat two identical actions this turn. And finally, a question mark, you get to choose the weather you want. So that is a good thing. You've got a kind of a status bar up here at the top uh, top left as well. So um, we're going to play and looking at my objective, I need to uh, get that panda eating some bamboo. So we're going to hop over here. And there's one. Now we can't do the same uh, thing again. Oh, and you can also take an action as an uh, irrigation as well so um, and you can place it typically without having to spend an action um, you know what let's grab another uh, objective card here and oh we need uh, two and two so there may be a possibility if we get a yellow uh, tile next that we can complete that if you see the shape there so um, since we're the only one playing let's uh, keep moving here so it's a green one that's not what we wanted or needed so we'll just Place it out of the way so we don't block things in. And uh, this brings in uh, the cloud, which is uh, where we choose an improvement. Now, improvements are placed on uh, tiles that do not have any bamboo uh, on them. Um, and here's there's three of them. The first one is the enclosure. And the enclosure protects the bamboo on the plot. It is on. The panda can cross it and land on it, but it cannot eat the bamboo there. The fertilizer increases the bamboo growth of the, of the plot. So every time the bamboo grows, two sections are added instead of one. And then finally, the watershed gives a bamboo on, a, on the plot where it's located all the water it needs. That, uh, that plot does not need to be irrigated. So um, kind of part of the planning of it as well, um, because um, if we choose fertilizer um, here, um, we can't place it on anywhere where there's already bamboo. So you got you kind of have to plan ahead a little bit. We'll just choose that one. Uh, and uh, we place the improvement there. Now, um, that's basically the game as far as that goes. We'll just chat a little bit about winning the game. Um, and it ends when a certain number of objectives are complete. So with two players, you have to complete nine of any kind. With three players, eight completed objective cards. And with four players, seven completed objectives. And the player who completes the last objective wins two bonus points and takes this uh, card. Now, it's important to, to 
uh, pay attention to this because you can complete the objectives uh, and gain this card. You can do it all first, but you can still lose the game because at the end of the day, uh, completing the objective cards just ends the game, doesn't decide the winner. So the winner will be whoever has the most points. Um, and that is a tutorial. That is the game Takino Ko. And this is a game that I'd heard about uh, a long time ago and never had a chance to give a try. And so uh, um, I'm going to be doing a, you know, a little bit more coverage of this game. I think it's a neat implementation by Asmodee uh, Games. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a, looks like it's a nice little game, maybe something to you know, end the night on. It's not going to be too much of a brain burner, but enough of a, of a, of a game there to enough strategy to kind of keep you engaged. So anyway, hope you got uh, some value out of this how to play video. And if you did, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. This is Legendary Tactics.